Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to if you're new here. So today I've got something a little different. I've got a Sephora haul and I haven't made one of these in probably about a year now. And I know I got a lot of really good responses from that haul so I thought, you know what, it's time to do another one and I just made a purchase on Sephora so I've got some stuff here that I want to show you guys so make sure you leave it a like to let me know that you enjoy it and if you want to see more of these let me know down below in the comments. The first product I'm going to start out with is from The Ordinary. I've never tried this before but I've been really curious about it since I saw it on the site. It's the 100% organic cold press rose hip seed oil and I thought this would be really cool to try. I tried The Ordinary for the first time last year where I got their toner and their EUK serum and I really really like their products and they're so affordable. So affordable. You do have to do your research though. You do have to make sure that if you're using multiple products by that brand that you're not using things that kind of clash with each other. So you definitely want to do your research. You can actually go on The Ordinary's website and they can actually help you figure out what you can use with what, which is actually really awesome and super helpful. So I suggest doing that if you are gonna try out the brand. So this is what it looks like. It looks like the regular bottles. This is my first time opening it. I think it's probably just gonna be clear. Oh, it's yellow. Do you see that? It doesn't smell like anything, but I'm really excited for this. It says to apply it once daily on the face, um, immediately at bedtime after application of water-based treatments. The rosehip oil, what rosehip oil is supposed to do, I'm just looking at my phone because I don't have this memorized. It's not only do the fatty acids and vitamin A in rosehip oil moisturize the skin, but they also promote skin regeneration and can improve skin flexibility and permeability. This means the rosehip oil product can improve skin texture and even reduce the appearance of acne scars or stretch marks. So I got this mostly for blemishes. I do have some blemishes on my skin. If you want an update on what these products are like, please make sure that you follow my Instagram because I will make a dedicated story video towards it so that you can find that information on if this actually helped me or if not because I'm literally on the journey to find the products that just fix my skin that just fix everything that I want to fix and when I find that dream product I will for sure share that with you guys. Okay so the next product that I got it's from Tarte. I love Tarte. I love the products. I love the brand. I have so many Tarte palettes and I actually have had this liner before. So this is their Tartiest Clay Paint Liner and I had signed up for BoxyCharm and I kept getting like a bunch of liners so I never bought more of this but I finished all of those liners and now I need liner and I want to go back with my trusty go-to brand. So if you're someone like me who's just not good at liner, I literally put tape on my eyes because I just cannot do it. I find that this little clay paint which actually comes with a brush for it, it's a cute little angled brush. I find that I have way more control with this product. I can actually create a wing. I can actually make it look good. I just find I have more control of the product and this lasts for such a long time. I know it's a little, a little tiny bottle, but trust me, it's so worth it. You get a lot out of this. I don't even remember how long my last one lasted but it was a really long time and I actually really love this product. So super excited that I got this again because I've missed it. So if you guys watched my Sephora haul from last year, you'd know that I made the mistake in buying my concealer in the mini size. I made sure to get it in the big size this time. And of course it's NARS Creamy Concealer, the Radiant Creamy Concealer. I've been using this since grade 11. This has been my go-to trusted concealer, nothing beats it, I swear. Even I've never tried the Tarte Shape Tape, for some reason I can never find it. If any of you guys are in Canada and you know where to get it or what specific site to get it on, please let your girl know because I really want to try it. But this is my go-to concealer. I got it in the shade Creme Brulee Light 2.5. Honestly, it is the best product ever. I feel like everybody has tried this concealer and it's literally a go-to. This is a holy grail item, you guys. Okay, so the next product that I got was actually something I've gotten before, and it's the EUK 134 0.1% serum from The Ordinary. 
I still have my other bottle that I got literally last summer. There's so much product that comes in this, but I really did like it. So it's supposed to help with redness. It doesn't completely eliminate redness, but I do find that my skin isn't as red throughout the day or in the morning or at night because of this. So I really do like this product. It's a subtle change, but it's enough for me. So I did buy more because I am almost out, but I technically don't even need to open this up yet. Okay, so I've been really getting into sunscreen, something that I should have been doing for years, something that my mom had tried drilling into my head for years and I just never listened to her because I was like, I want to tan, I don't need sunscreen. Even though you can still tan with sunscreen, it can still affect you. So I am waiting for the sunscreen that I'm going to be trying out to come. So I don't have that to show you guys, which also didn't come from Sephora, but I was going to show it in here because it was just another product. But I decided to get a chapstick that has sunscreen in it because that is something I don't think I've ever purchased in my life. So I got this Jack Lip Balm SPF 25. I got it in the Shea Butter one because the mint one was out. I prefer mint chapsticks. I like that tingly feeling that they give. But I have tried this already. It is really nice and it's really moisturizing. I'm very picky about my chapsticks. I like things to be super moisturizing and I don't want my lips to feel more dried out because there are certain chapsticks where I swear they put products in it that make your lips more dry, more chapped, and I'm just not dealing with that. So I have very specific chapsticks that I actually like and always buy. And I can actually find them at the dollar store. They're like the aqua ones. I don't know. I don't want to say aquafina because I think that's water. But it's aqua something. And they're like these little, you get two in a pack. And those are my favorite. But I stepped it up. I bought an $11 chapstick. Crazy because it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. But this actually is moisturizing. If you're someone like me who gets really bugged by if your lips are actually gonna stay moisturized throughout the day or if you're gonna have to be constantly reapplying. This actually does work really, really nice. I actually really like it. Do I think this tiny little bottle is worth $11? No. Did I buy it thinking it was gonna be like this big? Yes. No idea how long this is gonna last me, but I do suggest getting your hands on a chapstick that has SPF in it. That is definitely something that is super important for our skin. I really wish I listened to my mom when I was younger because it's not that I didn't know. I knew I just chose not to do it, so that's my own fault. Here I am, 25, finally trying to take care of my skin, but I do suggest getting your hands on one. Maybe not a tiny little one like this. I know this wasn't a really big haul. This was actually pretty small, but I didn't really need a lot of stuff, but I thought I would still come on here and share what I got because I know you guys really enjoyed it last time. There is more stuff from Sephora I want to get, but a lot of the stuff that I want is out of stock so maybe I'll do another one when I can get all those other items because there are a few that I'm waiting for so maybe you'll see another one of these soon but I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that notification bell follow my Instagram and have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video thanks so much bye